Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 41st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about modules in Python and uh, a module is actually a Python script containing some code, right? And the advantage of using modules is that you can save your code, variables, functions, classes and uh, whatnot permanently and you can use them by simply importing the module that contains um, you know uh, the, the variables or functions and the import statement when used checks for the availability of the module only in certain directories and uh, you can check those directories by importing the sys module and viewing the sys.path variable and that's what we're going to do now so I'll import the sys module by typing in import space sys and uh, now I'll check out the value of the path variable in this module so when I execute this, I see that Python looks for modules in all these directories. It looks for the module in this path and then in uh, the system32 folder and the python33 zip file and then in simply in the python33 dll folder and the python33 uh, library folder, simply in the python33 folder and you know this folder as well. So if you would save your uh, Python file in the music folder or pictures or you know on your desktop and you won't update this variable then you know you would not be able to import the contents of your module and that's what we're going to try to do now so I have a file that I have saved on my desktop here I've given it the name my module and I'm going to put in some code in it I'm going to declare a function I'll call it hello and uh, in that function I'll have a print statement I'll ask the user to enter his or her name and then I'll store that uh, input in a variable called name and then I'll simply display a hello message something like a greeting right so let's get started I'll type in def the def keyword to you know have my function and as I said I'm gonna call it hello so I'll type in that and a pair of parentheses I'll put in a colon get inside the function and then I'll use a print statement to you know ask the user for some input so what's your name simple enough and on the next line I'll type in the name of the variable in which I want to store the input from the user I'll call it name and on the next line I'll use another print statement to display the message so I'll simply type in hello and then uh, a comma after the uh, second double quotation mark the name variable so that the user sees his or her name and then uh, again in uh, double quotes I'll put in a comma and then uh, a message like have a nice day right and uh, then on the next line I'll type in the return keyword move out of the function and I'm not going to call the function in this file I will simply save this file and I'll go to my shell again and I'll try to import this module by typing in import space my module which is the name of the file that I just created right when I press the enter key I'll get a trace back error and uh, you know the error that I see is no module named my module so what happened is that Python looked for the file my module in all these folders and it could find it anywhere so that's why it gave us this error now if I would uh, you know go back to the file and if I would go to file and save this file in the Python 33 folder instead I'll go to computer and then C drive and uh, then I'll go to Python 33 and simply save this file here and now I'll go back to my shell and now if I would execute the same statement again import python my module oops there's a typo in there wait a second I'll go here and execute it there we go we see that there is no error that we get this time right and in order to execute the function hello in the module my module all I have to do is type in the name of my module my module put a dot and then the name of the function hello follow that up with parentheses this is how we work with all the you know uh, what do you call built-in functions that we've seen that belong to modules like math or you know the list modules the string object modules all those modules you know we've seen this is the syntax that we follow I'll press the enter key and there we go the function is executed now I see the first message what's your name when I type in Madhur here on the next line I'll see hello Madhur have a nice day so every time you want to do something like this you know this is a very simple application of a module you know usually modules have like lots and lots of functions and they do complicated stuff so that people use modules for the sake of convenience so that they don't have to type in the same thing over and over again in different parts of their programs you know so if suppose you want to execute something like this for a different user some other day you know you just import the my module and uh, you type in my module dot hello again and 
oops have i made a typo again oh god this is so embarrassing and uh wait a second double l and a single o and then let's say you want to execute it for john so you type in john and you would get the message for john right so that's it for now in the next tutorial we are again going to discuss something interesting and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then take care